Stop letting maps stress you out. Here's all the info you need to master the mean arterial pressure right now. The whole goal of human dynamic management comes down to three different things, and I'm gonna break them down so you never titrate a presser in the dark again. So why do we fight to keep the map at 65? Number one, what is MAP? Well, MAP is your mean arterial pressure. It's the average pressure in your patient's arteries throughout one cardiac cycle. Forget the complex formula for a second and the complex explanation, just think of it like this. It's the gas pedal of the blood flow for your organs. A low MAP means that your kidneys, your brain, and your heart are starving for oxygen. And that's bad news. Therefore, we need to intervene quickly. Second, why 65? Why not 60? Why not 80? Well, the number 60 is the minimum pressure most people need to perfuse their vital organs and prevent immediate cell death. So 65 is our minimum target safety margin. And the third thing is that the villain is not actually just low pressure, but also high pressure. So higher MEPs like 80 or 85 don't actually show better overall patient outcomes in most cases. Therefore, we stop at 65 because it gives your patient adequate perfusion. There are some caveats to this, like head injuries, but we don't want to slam them with high doses of vasopressors that can cause complications like arrhythmias. Next time you're titrating your norepi, remember you are ensuring their blood pressure is pushing hard enough to feed their organs. But you're also balancing that against the side effects of giving them too much drugs. Hit 65 and their urine output is good and their mentation is stable, you're winning. That's the goal.